Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some magical things I can't wait to pass before your beautiful faces. So I do wanna jump right in and start showing you now. But first I wanna say Happy July. I'm so excited, I'm a birthday month girl and I'm I'm celebrating it all the way through and I hope that whenever you have your birthday months you celebrate yourself to the highest extent so that is it I'm a summer baby and I'm so pumped but I'm extra stoked about this haul so let's get into it now I do love specialty soaps and when I can find great ones for a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree I scoop them right up because I like variety in soap and this one is one of my favorites this is the Yardley London oatmeal and almond in this this scent is by far my favorite in the Yardley London line. This helps soothe dry skin and gently exfoliate with natural oatmeal. Yes, I love it. It's fantastic. I hadn't seen it in a while. I gave it a poof and a sniff and it made me happy. So there is that one. Then this one, this is brand new to my eyes. This is cocoa butter for nourishing bath bar. Helps soften dry skin with pure cocoa butter, shea butter, and vitamin E. So that is a brand new one, and I was so happy to grab that for my stash. I love it. It has essential oils in it. It's not tested on animals, um, paraben and sodium. Uh, sulfate free plant based ingredients and printed on recyclable paper. So that is what both of those Yardley soaps do say. I'm going to drop it so there is going to be a crash. There we go. <laughs> now I did pick this up because I wanted some refillable soap. So all you simply have to do is grab a pumped, uh, a pump bottle or one that already has soap in it and get this for a refill, that's $2.50. And I say, wash your hands every day, all day when you have this much soap. It is so fantastic. This is spa soap, creamy milk and honey, nourishing hand soap. And this is 32 fluid ounces and I extra loved it. And it's made in Canada. So that made me really happy as well to see that it was made in Canada. So I picked that up, scooped it up or whatever else you want to call it. I grabbed it. Then I found hand sanitizer in a lemon scent. I've never discovered that before. This is 70% alcohol, hand sanitizer, antibacterial, lemon scented. And there's these two little cute two fluid ounce bottles that would fit nicely in somebody's purse or something like a backpack or something if you don't even carry a purse. And I am extra excited about a scent. I love hand sanitizer as well because I like to be squeaky clean as much as possible. And to have a scent in hand sanitizer that can linger a little bit longer than the hand sanitizer after cleaning, that is a good time for me and I like it a lot. Then I picked up these and these are pretty spiffy spiffy. I love the scent of this one. I have so many packages of this, but I saw it and I grabbed another one because I was excited to see it. This is a 30 pack of the Arm & Hammer Ultra Max with baking soda for advanced odor control, face and body wipes. And this is cool water. Okay, so this one has the most incredible scent. The moisture is fantastic. I love to come home, wash over my face after a long day of work with wipes anyhow, but leaving this scent on your face is extra fantastic. So I picked up another package of these and these have that great little door on it to seal it once you open it. Scoop that right up, yes I did. And then this one right here is a 30 pack as well from the Arm & Hammer brand. This is the Essentials with baking, um, natural baking soda, clear water deodorant towelettes. It cleans, refreshes, and moisturizes. And that one is extra good too. So they're both fantastic, but the cool water scent I know for sure smells like a dream. So I scooped those up. 
And then I picked this up. I hadn't seen this in quite some time. I discovered the Yes2 products shortly after they started coming onto the shelves with all the face masks and stuff and the tubes. And I had picked this up. My mom loved it. I loved it. So it's back out and I picked it up. This is um, Yes2 Cucumbers, natural 97% ingredients, daily gentle toner with witch hazel to soothe sensitive skin. And this is 12 fluid ounces. Now I will tell you which hazel holds a special place in my heart because my pa, my grandpa, which was also my dad to me growing up, he used witch hazel every day, all day. And anytime anybody would have an issue, he'd throw witch hazel at you. <laughs> so when something has witch hazel in it, I have to get it for my pa because he loved it so much. So there is that as well. Now, okie dokie then. I found this because in my new year of life, <laughs> in a couple of days, I want to get really organized with all of my papers. Right now I have them in folders, but I would like to conceal them. I found this great little concealer and I scooped it up. This is expanding document case, flap and cord closure, durable canvas, um, reinforced sewn edges. And look at how much it poofs up. So it's like a really cool vinyl. I can't say that it feels extra thick or anything, but it has some great material that seems pretty structurally sound. And that piece right there that will loop over to enclose it very well. So with my folders and my, um, you know, my paperwork and stuff, I'm going to slide it in here and put it in a very protected place to have it all concealed up. So I picked that up in the back to school section and I was really happy I found it because I'm always organizing. I can organize and then I can discover a new way that I could possibly do it better and then I get to that too. So I picked it up. Now, okie dokie then. I found some stickers that really, really had me dancing super. Uh, I was doing the butterfly in aisle one. <laughs> so this is from the Jot brand, both of them. This is uh, Go Green, Be Kind, it says all over the hearts. They are just so sweet and so pretty. So I want to do some crafting and some card creations with this. This is 20 pieces. I would say they had another three, four, five different sets with all different stuff on them. Then this one is the beautiful, beautiful Queen Bee. Look at that crown on there, her little bow and everything else. So I had to get it so that it can kind of mimic, you know, me as the Queen Bee for July. I like that. I like it a lot. This is 20. 21 pieces and I thought it was so fun it says be kind all over it with those sweet sweet happy little bees so I grabbed it and I'm gonna make myself a cute little craft and creation with that then I scooped these up because I also want to doll up some galvanized metal that I'm about to show you so I picked these two packages and this one is a six count and these are pop-ups and these are beautiful bumblebees. They have tiaras on them with flower wreaths on their hair. They're carrying hearts and flowers in their hands. And one has a little top hat. So those are shimmery, shiny, and 3D effect. Those are extra pretty. And I scooped them up. Then I picked this set right here with a little bit more realistic looking insects. I love that beautiful ladybug right there. We always had ladybugs that came in through the screens and my nanas and my mom and everybody would never ever hurt them. We would make a wish on them and then blow them back outside so that they could fly away and we took that as good luck. But I loved all of these also so they're really incredibly pretty and there's another set that I'm going to craft and create with and then I grabbed these two that I cannot wait to make some fun, fun things with. So both of these, this one I especially love right there. This one has 10 pieces inside of it. And I love every single one in here. It says, make it happen. And right here, what does that say? It says nature today is the day. And those beautiful sunflowers, the little truck down there that has all the flowers in the back of the bed just quite stunning and we always talk about well I do anyways how much it costs for stickers outside of the Dollar Tree that does not make my heart happy so 
these do and the set right here with all these beautiful flowers and that gorgeous little monarch butterfly right in the center that has landed on one of the petals so this is 10 pieces as well and I feel so sunshiny and happy because it's you know summer summer for me now I want everything in my house to have a lot of yellows and I really think I'm gonna intensify the bees around my house for decorations and sunflowers so I'm looking forward to doing that now let's get into the galvanized metals here because these are so much fun to craft and create on if I'm jiggle jiggling you it's not it's not something uncommon and I do apologize but I picked up some more of these. I had crafted with these over time, but I scooped them up because I saw them again. There is this stunning butterfly that has this little bit of depth to it. So I'm going to put some of those sunflowers inside of it, some other stickers, stickers that I have on hand for embellishing it, and that great little um, twine up here that will be able to hang it up. So I am going to do that with that gorgeous little piece. Then there is a star look at how nice the star is if you get a bunch of stars that would be really pretty to coat them so that they're outdoor safe and then put them outdoors that would be really special and fantastic so i scooped up the star and there is the twine to hang it up and then the heart right there the beautiful beautiful gorgeous heart now you could even maybe get some floral stems hot glue some floral stems little picks inside of here and make a little floral arrangement inside of these that would be really cute other than just using sticker embellishments but i love love the galvanized pieces and i have been crafting away over here like a wild woman i have been crafting yes i have now i found these these beautiful floral picks i these are absolutely outstanding and i have three picks in total that i am showing you and look at just the pink the pink is like a light pink also like a peach type of combination and they're so feathery and soft looking they are gorgeous so these are called foxtails where is the beautiful little foxtail bush and i love every single thing about it now i picked up three of these ones but they did have it in like a creamy white as well so i thought just simply these in a vase would be really beautiful with a bunch of black and white signs and stuff as I've been hauling them for you over this last week that are coming out in this new line of decorations like little pops of pink between all the black and white and even sunflowers I would definitely mix them with the sunflowers so I'm looking forward to decorating with that now I did find these marvelous marvelous canvases and I've never seen canvases at the Dollar Tree that have these style images on them. They are pretty phenomenal, I think. I love just the photography of the buildings and, you know, the little home fronts and stuff. So this is in plastic right now. So you're going to see a little shimmer. I'll try to hold it still. But look at that front door. The bushes on both sides and the light fixture that is an absolutely beautiful black and white piece i am so in love with the canvases that they come out with they're getting more and more stylish as they bring out a new line every single time then we have this one that actually resembles houses on my block <laughs> that like around my area around my neighborhood I have homes with trees out front that mimic this I could probably drive the next three or four streets over and find a building that mimics this one so I thought that that was really nifty and cool so I picked this up with that other one and then I thought I would get four in total so that I can make like a whole wall full of black and whites now this is a beautiful black and white of a hydrangea bush a uh, floral pick but the greenery is what is colored and there's little pops of pink within the hydrangea black and white if you can see it changes just a little bit if you look closely so that you can see the tint to the petals so I thought that that was really fabulous and wonderful as well and then this one which is um, a lilac it's a beautiful beautiful lilac 
and the greenery. I love that it has like the little water drops right on the leaves. So pretty. And I had lilac bushes outside of my home as I was growing up and I love to play outside in the backyard and smell those beautiful lilacs. Yes, I certainly did. So I picked those up. Now on my, now my entryway coming into my house, my whole house is an explosion of art crafts creation and whatever makes me happy but in the entryway coming in I have kind of collectively gained everything black and white for my entryway and that's where most of my beautiful signs from the Dollar Tree my little wall clings have gone to and I love entering my home and reading all of these beautiful sayings every single day so I picked up this one to go along that wall with those new canvases it says this is us it says our story our home and our love and that is how you can set it up so i thought that this was beautiful i just thought it was absolutely beautiful to kind of style on one of the walls between all of my black and whites that i th thought were so great i love the wall clings and i've never had an issue with them coming on or off the wall moving positions or other locations i've changed them around a bunch of times and i don't know maybe it's the paint that i have on my walls they've never created any damage or issues and i get them and display them happily so there is that now okie dokie then i found this beautiful sign a brand new one and it has th these three different pieces to it so i'll show you them first and now right here it says together is our favorite place to be so now i'll show it to you slow again so here is that one and then we have that beautiful one with the bumblebees all around the wording and then that piece right there is an addition piece of where it says b spelled out like a bumblebee so that pops out just a tidbit and I thought that this sign was stunning. So I picked that up. My house is going to be full of new decorations, I'd say by like the middle of July. And I am really excited for it. Then I found this beauty. There's more signs that I did not stumble on on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Hall. There are more out there. So again, it has this beautiful piece right up here with this gingham print black and white then these stunning sunflower paintings right on it that beautiful word that says home and this is a little galvanized metal piece that's on there sweet and then again another galvanized metal heart for the o and some more sunflowers on the slat looking background so incredibly beautiful one of my favorites that i have found so far for sure and then we have this one that has the ribbon and then this piece of greenery that's like a plastic piece of greenery and then on the slats of the, you know what it looks like in the background the black slats it says the word faith on it and that is one of my favorite words so it says faith makes all things possible isn't that beautiful that's lovely that is quite lovely and i thought it was magnificent and i'm going to rearrange all my stuff to put it on there so there is that as well now let's get into some pretty cutesy tootsy little decor i know i know it's fallish but i have to show you because these will definitely disappear and they are so sweet there's three in total but there's no way i could pick these up all at the same time so here is this beautiful little little teeny tiny raccoon face right there with the little leaf up at the top his sweet little beautiful face these would be so so cool for a tear tray i don't do tear trays i've just never really gotten into them but i love all of you that do because you style them so beautifully and then this adorable little what would you call this hedgehog maybe i don't know somebody correct me in the comments below and then he is so cute with all of his little porcupine looking little bumps and his sweet little adorable face and these are like mimicking you know a, like a pumpkin head because it has the stem coming out at the top so here is the fox i have to say i'm very impartial to the beautiful fox with the gold leaf 
and his beautiful special little face and the tail that's on the side of his head so i loved those i could not leave those behind they just made my heart sing and then these my little sweet muffins i had to i absolutely did now these i am going to gift away to somebody that i know loves gnomes so much in my life and i had to pick them up because i had never seen them before and they were just so sweet now this gnome here this gnome is holding a beautiful beautiful sunflower and i love the way that he's painted so i think that that's great plus all of these, including the three that I just showed you right now, are more of like a plaster type of feeling. It's not even a porcelain feeling, um, but I definitely think that these could potentially be breakable. So definitely be careful of that. But I love them in their fall attire. And then this sweet one with the acorns up there on her hat and holding the beautiful pumpkin. And I love her braids. Now they did have several other styles of these also, you know, in different pairs, but those were the ones that I thought were just fabulous. Now, okay, I got this whole cute little tote basket. I love these. I always love these for carrying like sand toys or even like a quick lunch into the car on a work day. It's just a nice little tote and the handles up top are fantastic to kind of just grab clamp and take it right on down to the beach with you with a towel in it, a drink and a book. So I picked up that beautiful plastic basket, but inside of it, I have some great things to share with you that I picked up from the Dollar Tree as well. So I got these books here, they're paperback books, and this says favorite five minute bedtime story plus 10 favorite lullabies. And the illustrations in here, as I normally say, because I always pick up the books that have the best meaning to them and also the most beautiful pictures. I think that this is absolutely precious and the stories are really, really great, fantastic and bring back a lot of wonderful memories and to pass them on is my favorite. Now this one is five minute bedtime stories as well, plus 10 favorite lullabies inside paperback and this is a beautiful book also look at the illustrations in this one so vivid fun fantastic and i scooped it right up yes i did now on the back of these it does show you that there are some other books that i did not discover this time around but i got those two so i'm happy to add it to my children's bookcase that i love to have fully stocked at my house and then for summertime fun and you know summer vacation i found these they're always fun to pick up for a dollar 25 to just keep the kids a little bit occupied and some downtime get them off of uh, you know electronics really just keep them engaged i you know definitely love to do that with isaiah keep them extra busy and thinking this is imagine ink disney princess and this is one Imagine Ink mini mess free marker and one game book inside. So this one has the princesses and I'm so excited to see how that comes out with the magic marker in there. Too cool for a dollar. 25. Um, and then this one that is SpongeBob that comes with the marker as well. Same exact description as I told you on the last one. I just, I love summer vacation. I always loved it when my son was home. I didn't want him always engaged with something that was distracting him. I wanted to be with him. I wanted to hang out with him. I wanted to make memories and do lots of fun, silly stuff together all day long, even if we were just at home. So I always kept him extra, extra occupied so that he wouldn't even miss video games if he tried. <laughs> so there's that. Then I picked this right here because I love cars and I love having these toys because Christmas is always coming back around. There's always a donation that I can donate to. And I have little teeny tiny Tinker Tots that I love to gift to as well. So this is extreme right here. Yes, it is. They had it in a bunch of different colors, but I extra loved the yellow and the red. And so this says that it is a monster truck die cast vehicle. And I thought that that was really such a fancy car. Look at those big fun wheels. Have any of you ever been to a monster truck show? Those are some of my favorite shows. Uh, they're a blast. 
definitely wear um you know something to muffle the noise though because it gets really really loud and aggressive and then these are brand new how fun is this little gadget i can picture this going to like the beach or whatever but then on the back oh my heavens look at what i've done this will ride this will ride and you can get a bunch of them and have the kids race their cars in the driveway so i thought that that was really nifty cool and cute and this is plastic and it does have an on and off switch on the bottom but it does need batteries so i'm assuming that this lights up just a bit pull string that's what it says uses AAA batteries and they are not included and this does light up and the front swivels so those are really magical now, last but certainly not least for these two last toys to just kind of hug, love, and fidget, I found Dumbo in the Disney, the little Disney characters. And these are squishy, fluffy, and they're perfect for handheld. And I love that sweet little face of Dumbo. So I had to pick this up and those originally go for about $5.99 for that brand little stuffy outside of the DC. And then this I thought was so fancy. This one right here is Flexi Fleximals. It's a scent an orb sensory caterpillar and this is a mini one cuz I know that they have big ones, you know, other places but I got the one that was colorful. There were a bunch of them that had just one color to them, but I definitely wanted the one that was really kind of wild and funky and unique, just like me. <laughs> so I picked up that little cutie patootie and he kind of just like swivels and shakes. Let me see if I can, sorry, mom, I'm using my teeth. Um, and so right here, Look at, he just kind of wiggles and jiggles and he's fun and he's cool and he's extra, extra cute. So I scooped him up and I loved him. So that is it. That is it. Happy, happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I love you guys so incredibly much. I'm going to take these couple of minutes to say hi, everyone. If you are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I'd love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and I'm super pumped about it. Yes, I am. And I am so grateful to all of you that are here with me doing this. Now, I do want to zip out of the way really quick and show you that Richie came home today for my birthday month and brought me a mermaid chair and I'm going to share a picture with you on my community tab to show you this in its entirety. He had a mermaid chair made for me and he attached some beautiful balloons to it from the Dollar Tree and now as an extended part of the Dollar Tree uh, this balloon is fabulous for that price and so is this beautiful one right there. So balloons are always a blessing to get for that you know, right there at the DT to celebrate anybody's special days for all occasions. <laughs> so that is it. I love you guys. And thank you so much for being a part of my life, my family's life. And thank you for this journey that you share with me. And any moments out of your day that you take to be with me makes me feel extraordinarily blessed and happy. And I love you all, whether I see your names, your faces, or I just talk to you in the comments below, whatever it is, whatever moment you take from me, you are a gift to me and I love you all. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Love you guys. Bye.